what is up guys happy hump day hope everybody is doing all right out there i am tiff welcome back if you're new welcome if you can can you hit that like button for me it sends an energetic donation my way if he oh shit i don't know what is going on <laughs> going on with me y'all um make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out this is going to be general it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates <laughs> take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fit if you would like a personal all that information is in the description box you would think that i would have that down packed because i say it four times a day but you know what I don't know what's going on with this one okay this is going to be the car like if your person's dealing with a karmic what's going on in that karmic relationship what's going on with the karmic okay um this is my deck y'all know i'm coming out with it i'm still waiting on the prototype it could take six weeks okay but let's see let's see what's going on in this karmic relationship or with the karmic spirit ancestors and guys they throw you in my face and compare us all the time so they'll fight, they'll argue whether you were with this person and they were cheating on you with this karmic, okay, or they're with this karmic. Take it how it resonates for you. This is general, okay. They throw you in this karmic's face constantly, all the time. And it's like, it's like constant comparing. It's like even if they, in his, in his head, he's like comparing this relationship to you the entire fucking time. You know what I'm saying? And he might say shit and not even be thinking it. And it pisses their, look, they're always sticking up for you and I can't stand it. So they're arguing, they're going back and forth. Here goes your name coming up. You know what I'm saying? Then here goes this karmic trying to drag your name through the mud or whatever. Or she brings your name up, however it goes, right? I'm telling you that came out in that last reading where the, he's like telling her like you're you you can't compare bro you're nothing compared you know what I'm saying like this person has this this and this I watch both of your social medias closely so if you have social media this person is definitely stalking you keeping an eye on this on your social media okay um but they're definitely like this person is psycho they're like going through the likes trying to see if your name's in this person's likes that type of shit i'm snooping through their things to get answers so this person is like going through their pockets going through their laundry even if this person doesn't go with your person it's like they're trying to figure out what your person has going on so they're snooping they're going through shit Oh, and when they went to snooping, they must have went snooping through his phone because they found y'all's text messages. If you and your person are like texting back and forth, if there's something going on, this karmic went snooping through their shit, went through their phone, right? And saw y'all's text messages. So this karmic started a huge fight, brought you up. Oh, so this is what you're doing. You're still talking to this person. You love this person, blah, 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 blah. And your, your masculine is like, motherfucker, you ain't shit. You ain't nothing compared to this. Like, I'll always fuck with this person. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to have to deal with them. But look, it's easy to manipulate them with sex. So either it's like your person can easily, like whenever this motherfucking, I know they only chose you, be, chose me because you cut them off. So you were with this person. You found out that they were cheating with this person, right? And this, and it's like this person thought they were winning because you, it really like, how are you a winner when you only won because I didn't want him? You know what I'm saying? He only went over there to be with you because I put my fucking foot down and I didn't want his ass. You ain't winning. And now she's coming into that realization. I know they only cho chose me because you cut them off because you wasn't putting up with that bullshit. Right? That's the only reason why that she's even winning for now. But suddenly, bitch, you my child. I mean, come on, bae. Basic shit I don't allow. You know what I'm saying? You don't allow that bullshit. And so, there, here, your person went crawling over here to this weak-ass fucking karmic. And it's either, like, your person can easily manipulate this karmic with sex, but I feel like, like, regardless, or this karmic can easily manipulate your person with sex, okay? And it was like, I feel like your person tried to cut this karmic off. Like, even when you guys were together, this your person tried to cut this karmic off. But this karmic knows that your person is weak when it comes to women or people. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to sex. 
so they would try to manipulate your person with sex or try to like whatever it was they literally tried to make sure you found out this karmic did everything they could to make sure you found out that they were fucking around she, she did she did everything she could and you know how this resonates for you she did everything she could to make sure you found out and when you found out you were like fuck that she knew that you weren't she knows what type of woman you are she knows because she's watching you on social media she knows what type of person you are she knows you ain't finna have that so she knows if you find out about what they have going on that way masculine's hers you're cutting him off you're out the way you're going to gracefully, you're going to bow out of that bullshit, right? So that's why she did that. Because she's like, oh, if she finds out, she ain't going to fuck with him no more. He going to be mine. But what she got herself into is in a situation where this person constantly thinks about you, constantly throws you in. And she's over here looking stupid as fuck. She has the audacity to go through his shit and his phone to see if he's texting you. Bitch, how are you going to have the audacity to do that? Sorry, y'all. I'm not calling her a bitch. This is just how I'm, I'm talking, okay? I, all right. How you going to go through this man's phone looking to see if he's texting the person that you were sneaking around on in the first place? What kind of shit is this? I don't fucking get that shit. That shit... <laughs> Man, 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 man. What is going on? Let's see. What am I going to use here? What is going on with this karmic at this time? Spirit, ancestors, and guides. The karmic and the collective person at this time. Spirit, ancestors, and guides. The unknown. Conflicted within herself, okay? She's freaking out because it's like there's things that she, like, it's like she, the, the thing is, is car, this, that's what it is. Thank you, spirit. Karma, man. Where you were wondering what your person had going on, okay? You was wondering what your person had going on. You were, you know, in that state of mind where you're like, you know, in a fucked up place, right? Now she, she knows, like, and the problem is, she, it, it's like with, with you, you weren't sure. You know, you had an inkling your person was bullshitting, right? But with her, she knows that you, your person still wants you. She knows your person's in love with you. But she is scared of knowing the unknown. It's like she knows this. It, like, her, she knows, but she's in denial that this person still wants you. And so she's trying to literally, the card says, know the unknown. She's snooping through shit. She's trying to figure shit out. <laughs> but she already knows. That's what's crazy. Let's see what else is going on here. Broken dreams. Yeah, because look, what goes around comes around. You reap what you sow. You think you're going to shatter another woman's household or another woman will break you? There's something that says you cannot build... A relationship on the foundation of another woman's tears. You see what I'm saying? You cannot build a relationship on the foundation of another woman's tears. It don't fucking work like that. So everything she motherfucking did where she broke your dreams. Had you feeling shattered. Had you feeling alone. Now that's what's happening to her. Because she thought she was winning for then. And she's realizing she only won that motherfucker because you wouldn't deal with him. Stupid. Let's see. What else is going on with this karmic spirit? Intimate love is a core need to be met in relation to ourselves and in those closest to us. The journey to intimacy often includes learning what love is not. Okay? Okay. So it's like, it, this. she over here, she was using sex. She thought she had this person. It was just like good sex. You know what I'm saying? There's no love there. And she's realizing that. Just because a person's intimate with you, just because they're breaking their back out, doesn't mean that they're in love with you. And it was something, it, it was like, your, it was always lust for your person. And it was lust for her too. But she's like imaginarily all in love with this person. And it's like, y'all ain't even done shit or been through nothing. How you gonna say you in love with somebody and you guys ain't even, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
girl bye and she's learning it like she this person might have literally like gotten like used sex as a way to show love okay and they thought like you know if somebody has sex with you they love you you know what i'm saying they could abuse you and then have sex with you and that's love they're just crazy over you like that's how this person thinks but they're realizing like damn pussy ain't enough to keep somebody and it never will be I mean, hell, I'm just going to be honest. You can get pussy when you can't get a meal. Motherfucker be out here starving like a some bitch. And a girl going to say, here, you want some? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, it's really like that. There's there's female whores. There's male whores, okay? Let's see what else is going on with this karmic spirit at this time. I'm just not feeling those cards for some reason. Let's see. What else is going on with this karmic? You're going to fall off my lap, pup. I got my puppy in my lap, y'all. He literally cried all fucking night. Kept me up. I've got, I'm running off like two hours of sleep. No coffee because I'm out of creamer. Emotional freedom. Okay? So that's what she needs to do. She's trying to... This karmic really is trying to emotionally free herself from your person. I'm just going to be honest because she's being real with herself. Finally, you know what I'm saying? Because ultimately, what do we all want? We all want happiness, right? We all want to be happy. And she really thought this person was going to make her happy. But the thing is, here you are, the divine feminine. You're this person's divine counterpart. Okay? And the thing is, you can't. And I was just about to say it again. You cannot build a foundation, a happy foundation on the foundation of somebody else's tears. You know what I'm saying? And this is you. This is why it's all crumbling apart. This is why she's feeling like she needs to emotionally free herself. Because she, the, it's like you don't even have to do shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, your person loves you and you just be yourself. You're not even trying to be something you're not. While this person over here is trying to be something completely that they're not to try to make somebody love them and it, it, it's not even working just be yourself boo you know what i'm saying and that's when you'll come into your own um your own identity spirit ancestors oh shit addicted Okay, so I feel like there could be some addictions involved, like they could be like getting fucked up, getting, you know, party and having a good time, but I feel like your person was, I mean, this karmic was addicted to your person. I don't, I, I'm telling you, it wasn't a love thing. And that's why this key to intimacy is here. It's because they're realizing, like, that I'm not in love with this person, you know, the dick's good, and I'm, I just wanted them, you know, I crave them, but it's not like... Your person is addict, like the karmic is addicted, and they are going to come at you for some revenge. It's like this person is very spiteful, very vindictive. They, it's like, um, you know, and I don't judge anybody that's on drugs, okay, because I've come from a family of drug addicts, you know, and, and some of the best people are on drugs they just have a habit, you know what I'm saying? You know, that fuck their lives up. And, but the thing is, um, it's like one of them things where, like, say, we've all seen, like, somebody coming off of heroin. How horrible that is. You know what I'm saying? And then that's what it's like. It's like she literally feels like she's dying. Like, how embarrassed. Like, I'm dying without your person. And so what she's going to do is she's going to try to get revenge here. She's going to try to do something spiteful as fuck to get revenge on you and your person. Yep, look, forgetting oneself, acting like somebody she's fucking not. Pretending to be something she's not. She's over here plotting, and I'm just going to be honest, the way these come out together, she's over here plotting something. She's pretending to be, like, be, to be okay with the situation and what's going on, but secretly this karmic is plotting some kind of revenge, something against your person. I don't know what it is. Take that as a forewarning. Make sure you let your person know if you're in contact with your person, okay? What is going on with this karmic at this time, spirit? Ancestors, guides. Whoa. 
forgiveness. Hurt blocks our light. And that's what I'm saying. This karmic is in a very, very dark place. And it's because it's like, she's, I'm telling you, this, this karmic, okay, is literally praying, like, you're, the, the revenge that she's planning, whatever the fuck this is that she's planning, okay, it's, this hurt is blocking her light. She's planning on something very, in a, from a dark place to hurt your person. Yeah, she's coming from a very dark person to hurt your person. And she's hoping that that makes him run back to her and for forgiveness like he always does with you. And it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Whatever she's about to do, um, it's, create, it's about to create a shitstorm. What else is going on with this karmic spirit? Emotionally in energy. Emotions are messengers to be met with appropriate attention, action, and gratitude. But she can't control her emotional energy. They're out of control. They're blowing the fuck up. So while this says emotions are messengers to be met with the appropriate attention, she's not. She's letting her emotions run her fucking insane. And instead of fucking facing those emotions and taking the appropriate action towards those emotions, what she's doing is she's about to blow out, blow up and let these emotions do send her into doing some real crazy ass shit because she's not appropriately facing these. Wow, this this karmic's about to do some real crazy ass shit, man. Let me get one more spirit. Responding, not not reacting. The only control we have is in how we respond to the hand we are dealt. You see what I'm saying? And this karmic is about to react. All right, she's responding and reacting, and the only control we have is how we respond and she is about to flip out i'm telling you she can't control these emotions she she can't control this she's about to go the fuck off she's about to do some real crazy spiteful vengeful ass shit okay y'all be forewarned on that if that resonated at all comment below let me know until next time loves peace